All new at 530, a historical discovery after a hurricane might not be as old as initially thought, and it might not even be what archaeologists thought it was. Seven years ago, as Hurricane Irma caused widespread destruction, what was believed to be a canoe that was hundreds of years old washed up from the Indian River. Now, as New Six's James Barbero shows us, that mysterious object has a new home and some new findings. On Saturday, Cape Canaveral held the ribbon cutting on its brand new Cape Center. This is a building dedicated to arts, history, culture. And when I came here Saturday, I really didn't know what to expect. So once I got inside, I was pretty surprised to see an artifact from Hurricane Irma. I covered Hurricane Irma seven years ago. This is what the Indian River looked like then. And then after the storm, we did a couple of stories on something that washed up. Here it is right now. What was initially believed to be a canoe, the Hurricane Irma dugout, has new findings according to this exhibit that I read. And based off of the nails and the paint, archaeologists believe it's not quite as old as initially thought. Now they believe it might only be about 100 years old or even less, and it might not even have been a canoe. The exhibit says it might have actually been a utility pole. Molly Thomas with the city talked to me for more about that. The canoe is kind of interesting because it started off with a little bit of history and the more science that we got behind it, it became a little more folk art than it was actually history. And back in 2017, photographer Randy Lathrop discovered the canoe. We're here at his home now in Cocoa off the Indian River. Since our last story with reporter Clay Lepard, who even called you the Indiana Jones of the neighborhood, <laughs> if you remember that, Randy. I do remember. You wrote a book about making that discovery. You included that in a chapter of your book. And it's a great story. I'm not sure that we've ever come to the final chapter as far as where the dugout did originate from, but that's for anybody to guess. What other discoveries do you think might there be? The research isn't, isn't over yet, so we should be able to know more as as technology develops. I mean, I know a lot of people have different thoughts, but it's a great part of the local lore. I would encourage people to go out there and see it. So if you'd like to see the canoe in its new home and read about its new possible origins, the Cape Center is open Monday through Friday from 10 until 4, and it's free to get in. In Cape Canaveral, Brevard County, I'm James Sparvero, Getting Results News 6.